There are a vast array of methods and systems for making yourself better. There are hundreds and hundreds of ways to achieve your aim. What is the difference between this system which we are now embarking on and all the others? What are its advantages and disadvantages? What is new about it? Disadvantages. Let's start with these. This system is not for weak people. This method is not for those who have an all-take, but no give attitude. Give me, help me, just so long as I don't have to do anything myself. This is because the origins of our system lie in Oriental martial arts and Eastern philosophy. When in times of trouble a man turns to his own resources and starts activating the dormant parts of his mind, his dormant will, his dormant spirits and takes his own life into his own hands, he will emerge the victor. To my deep regret, there are very few people like this. For example, we have 2% of people who are, say, very short. Also 2% are very tall. Similarly, there are only 2% of people who can draw on their own reserves in difficult times. And I'm very happy that I'm now talking to one of those 2%. Because I am sure that you have heard somehow, and from someone, that this system requires a lot of work. It attracted your interest and you thought it would be suitable for you, and as a result, you are on this course. This proves that you are a strong person. Now a little bit about the history of this system. Where did it come from? And why was it developed? And also, how many years ago did it originate? The roots of this system go back thousands of years. But the European version, which was adapted for people with modern, very busy lifestyles, started 20 years ago. So what is this system, and how useful is it? First of all, Thanks to this system, over two million people have regained their health. Thanks to this system, over two million people now have some self-respect. They now believe in themselves. Why and how has this come about? Simply by studying people who, when they fall ill, become trapped in their illness, and also those people who have managed to overcome their illnesses, we found certain consistencies in the behavior of each group. And during our course we will learn about this behavior and these consistencies. We'll do exercises. Whatever complaint you are suffering from, whatever problem you have, we must first of all make sure that your spine is aligned properly and correct your posture. And we will raise your safety factor there. We will also work on your cardiac system, whether you have any problems in this area or not. This will not only support your heart, but also make your heart support the other systems in your body. We will improve your hormonal system. And we will also train you to use your imagination. Why? In a while, you'll understand and be interested. We will be training the basis of our being. 
our spirit and our will. And then systematic training again and again and again. This means we will use lots of different ways, but all serving the same purpose. So, if you use one way and make some mistakes in the techniques, or miss out some important aspects and your efforts don't produce a good enough result, another way will compensate for this. Or maybe the third way will be more interesting for you than the other two, so it will be more effective. It doesn't matter, because in the end we have one aim, to overcome your complaint regardless of what method brings about the victory. With an approach like this, we guarantee that if not one way, then the other will achieve its purpose and the complaint will disappear. So we will be using all these various ways to ensure against defeat, and so we are destined for success and victory. Mm -hmm.